Yeah, so last night at around 11.15 p.m., our officers responded to the McDonald's in the 600 block of West Martin Luther King Boulevard on a report of a shooting. And when they got to the McDonald's, they located two gunshot victims inside a vehicle, a male and a female who were in their early 20s, both had been shot, and they were transported to an area hospital where unfortunately, the male was pronounced deceased at the hospital and the female right now is in critical but stable condition. So we called out our homicide investigators and when they were processing that scene, we had a report at 3.30 in the morning of another shooting that occurred in the 3000 block of Volney. And when our officers arrived there, they located a woman in her early 30s suffering from a gunshot wound and she was transported to an area hospital where sadly she died from her injuries. So right now, our homicide team is investigating two homicides and as you can imagine, it's a very busy time right now here at the police department. Just going back over the last several days, we've seen an uptick in gun violence, which has resulted in five people being shot and killed by cowards with guns. And that's what I'm just gonna call them. They're cowards with guns and they're destroying families because each of these victims, our investigators have been meeting with their families and they're just frustrated and rightfully so, they're asking us for answers. And right now we don't have really motives for any of them, any releasable suspect information, but we do know that someone out there has information and they need to do the right thing, step up to the plate and get us the information on who's committing these homicides and these shootings so that we can get them off the streets and hold them accountable for their actions. So five people killed since Friday within the city of Stockton. That's a shocking statement. I mean, are, do you believe any of these are related? You know, at this time, none of them appear related. And that's why in these neighborhoods where we're seeing an uptick in gun violence, our officers are giving those neighborhoods special attention, meaning we have more patrols, our investigators are out there, our neighborhood impact teams are out there doing walks because a lot of times in these residential neighborhoods where you do see an increase in violence, specifically gun violence, people are reluctant to talk to a uniformed officer just because they're fearful for their safety. And that's why these teams, when they go out there, they try to educate the residents about Crime Stoppers and how they can report crimes anonymously. And usually, once they have that tool, that's when we start getting some information coming in the police department. And for those that are just now tuning into this, can you give us a recap of what happened in the early morning hours of Friday? We had three people killed? Yes, out on Finland Avenue, out in East Stockton near Fremont Street, we responded to a report of a shooting. And when our officers got to the scene there, they located three people inside a vehicle who were shot. Medics pronounced two inside the vehicle deceased, and a third was transported to an area hospital where, unfortunately, he died from his injuries. So as you can imagine, it's, these last several days have been extremely busy. And going back to what we were talking about in regards to giving these neighborhoods attention, just where we had the triple homicide on Finland, there was a vigil out there in the evening hours, and our officers were out there and arrested four people who had firearms on them. So we know we prevented probably retaliatory shooting from occurring. And that's once again, we gotta get these guns out of these hands of these cowards because they're just out there destroying families. So you say that you may have prevented some of those retaliatory shootings, mm -hmm. but what's to say the shootings that happened overnight last night weren't retaliation? Talk about the homeless people. Yeah, I mean, right now we don't have really motives for the early morning homicides that have occurred here right now. They're still fresh, active investigations. And that's why we do know that they did occur in front of people and people have information. And once again, they need to do the right thing, step up to the plate and get us that information so we can get these suspects off the street before they hurt anyone else. How many homicide detectives does the Stockton PD have? Did you ever call in any extra resources this morning? Yes, we actually have two teams that are working right now. We have about 15 to 16 homicide detectives and two sergeants that are working. Um, so you, as you can imagine though, two active homicide investigations, extremely busy for our investigative teams. They're out there doing the best that they can. They're working nonstop around the clock with their officers and trying to, one, prevent the violence from occurring in these neighborhoods, and two, trying to make those arrests so that we can hold these suspects or these cowards with guns accountable for their actions. But it's more than two investigations going on right now. I mean, it was only like a month ago when we were standing right here talking about a 14-year-old and a 15-year-old that were killed just mm -hmm. riding their bikes through their neighborhood. So I'm, this has been going on. These, these sh weird shootings have been happening here in Stockton. 
for the past several weeks. What can you say about that trend? Yeah, I mean, right now we have seen an uptick in gun violence in our community, and that's just unacceptable. And that is concerning to us here at the police department. It's concerning to the whole community as a whole. And we've been hearing the frustrations from the community. But on the flip side, part of the community wants to help. They're out there trying to figure out exactly who's out there committing these homicides. And they're trying to get that information to us. So we're hopeful that we can figure out exactly who's doing these shootings so that we can get these people in custody. Would you say that there is a belief that many or all of them could have been gang related? You know, at this point, we don't have a motive for these homicides. We know the one from the triple homicide, there was a gang component. But right now, we can't rule out any motive until we actually figure out exactly the events that led up to these shootings. So that's why it's important right now. We're trying to piece together these different shootings and homicides. So if you have information, do the right thing. You got to remember that there's grieving family members out there and they want closure. And the only way we can give that to them is by working together with the community and getting these people off the street who are out there committing this senseless act of violence. Even the ones um, the last 24 hours, you don't, we don't know if they're gang related yet or not? Yeah, these last two, we don't know. They're still fresh active investigations, but we can't rule anything out. Well, we've surpassed our year-to-date homicide total. Is there any fear that we could be heading towards a year like 2014 or 13 where we saw a significant amount of homicides this summer? Yeah, so far, we've investigated nine homicides this year compared to five at the same time last year. Obviously, we don't want to go backwards back to 2012, 13 when we had the record number of homicides. That's what we don't want. And that's why we believe we have real good strategies in place so when we do see an uptick in gun violence and we can saturate these neighborhoods and use our analytics, our data, so that we can go after the right people who are out there committing the gun violence so that we hopefully we won't be able to go back to those years and see 71 homicides, which is just unacceptable. Is there any kind of belief that it was the same person committing all of these crimes or do you believe there were more than one person or people involved? Yeah, at this time it does not appear any of them are related, so there's probably more people who are involved. Okay, so it's not like one serial killer on the run. No, we don't have information on that, no. What else would you like? I, this is a shocking headline to write that five people have been killed in Stockton since Friday, in my opinion. So what can you say to make the community feel like they are in a safe area, like they can take their kids out and go to church today and take them to school on Monday? What can you say to kind of ease their minds after hearing that five people have been killed? Yeah, I mean, once again, these last several days have been extremely busy. Seeing five people shot and killed is just unacceptable. You know, we want the citizens of Stockton to know that the police department's working nonstop. We're working with our community partners, also some nonprofits with the clergy, just to go out into these neighborhoods, just to talk to people, listen to their frustrations, just to reiterate that we want them to be safe, but also educate them on working together with law enforcement because it's a shared responsibility. Law enforcement can't do it on our own. Our community can't do it on their own. But when we work together, that's where we see really good results. So hopefully we'll get some good results. Hopefully we'll get some tips coming in so that we can have our next Facebook Live talking about some of these arrests. And how's your team doing? Are your guys okay after handling all of these? Oh yeah, we have four homicide teams with, like we talked about, 16 homicide detectives, two sergeants. So obviously they're tired, but this is what we signed up to do. We're going to go out there. We're going to work nonstop so we can figure out exactly who's doing this and make an arrest so that we can bring closure to our victims' families. Anything else you want to add? Do we miss anything? No, just once again, for people out there that do have information and if they want to remain anonymous, they can call Stockton Crime Stoppers at area code 209-946-0600. Or you can go to our Stockton Police Department's Facebook page, submit a tip that way, or go right to our website, stockingpd.org. Crime Stoppers will pay a cash reward up to $10,000 for any information that leads to an arrest of any of these homicides. So please, if you have information, do the right thing. And someone knows something. Someone knows something, and we need them to say something. That's the clear message right now. Say something.